This video will go over how to plot data uh, from Excel using Map Business Online's Plot Data Wizard. The Plot Data Wizard is in the top left corner. It looks like a little push pin, and when you click on it, we have different options. Uh, another video we have goes over how if you can copy and paste if you need, but this is going to uh, be about plotting from a file. So I will, I will go ahead and browse to wherever my data is, and I'm going to scroll down to find that spreadsheet, and we just click Next. And if you have multiple uh, pages of your Excel spreadsheet, you just tell it which sheet you want. This next page is just where you can identify your data. So if you have things like uh, street address and city, you just want to make sure that in Excel, they're broken up into different spreadsheets. Same with state and zip code. And here, uh, the program should automatically look to those headers in the spreadsheet. Uh, and if it says something like a street address, then it'll fill it in. If you have in your spreadsheet, if you have a ship to location and a bill to location, you might need to just help it out and let it know which uh, address column you'd like to plot by. Uh, this little pull down list is how you, different ways that you can plot your data. Uh, you can do it by a full street address, which I'm going to do in this example, but you could do latitude and longitude if you wanted to. And we'll just click next. The name and call out screen is where you can identify the column of the spreadsheet that you want to appear as a name. And a name is just when you have these pl data plots on the point uh, points on the on the map, you can hover your mouse or you can click on it, and it'll the name is the first thing that pops up. So if you have a name column, it'll identify it correctly. Or if you want to, you can identify it by a different column of your spreadsheet. Unique ID is for a process called update data set. So if you have unique numbers in your spreadsheet, we have a process in place as a button in the program that if you make changes to Excel then you can come into the program, press a button called Update Data Set. It'll look back to that spreadsheet and add or remove changes. So that's where a unique ID column comes in. It's not mandatory by any means, but if you know that you're going to be constantly updating your data set, you might want to use this process. The next section are our callouts. And so when you have plotted points, you can have the name, the address, and you can have up to five pieces of information. And these are for your choosing. You can always update it later, and I'm going to show you how to change that in a little bit. But if you want to, out of the gate, uh, set your callouts. Uh, you can do that and sh choose different columns of your spreadsheet that you want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put my sales information and I'll put my customer type and then I'll leave these other fields as none. And if everything looks good, we'll go ahead and click advanced. If, if you are comfortable with your data at this point, you can just go ahead and click plot and it'll uh, plot those locations on the map. But I'm going to just show this advanced button as well. Advanced is where you can help the formatting of the program. So if there's a numeric column in Excel and the program sees it as a text column because maybe there's a bunch of blank values uh, or there is some text in there, you can actually come in here and format it so that the program can tell that it's a numeric column. So as I'm scrolling across, numbers should appear as numbers, but if they happen to appear as text because you have some characters in there, you can go ahead and click this little gear and let it know that it's a number. And the reason why we do that, we wanna make sure that a number column is a number column. It's for different aspects of the color coding. So if we set up uh, with color coding, we could set up ranges to show you know different symbols for different uh, ranges for a numeric column. So that's why we want to make sure that uh, the number column was identified if it is a number column. Where everything looks good, we click plot, and we're going to get our little push pins on the map. Our standard plan can plot up to 50,000 uh, points from Excel, and our pro version can do up to 250,000 spreadsheets. If you have multiple spreadsheets that you want to bring in, you just kind of repeat this process. And so I'm going to go ahead and click done. And anytime you bring in data into the program, you're presented with our data window. If you close out of the data window, you can get back to it. It's this thing that looks like a calendar at the top. From the data window, if you want them all to look the same, you can change their size here. Uh, you can change their color. You can also change their symbol. We have a pretty extensive symbol set, but if you wanted to, you could click on manage custom symbols. And you could bring in your own little JPEG, maybe a company logo for each of these points. Other features in the data window are we have a filter button and you can filter by any column of your spreadsheet. So if I wanted to just find the house accounts uh, on the map, I can just choose this pull down list and I tell it which column I want to filter by. So I'm going to go customer type. And then this next field, there are, are Boolean fields. And so I'm going to do equal to house account. But if this was a numeric column like sales, I could do greater than or less than or greater than or equal to and so on. So I'm going to make that equal to house account. Click filter. And now my data window in the lower left says that I have 
28 of 455 in the table that are my house accounts. If I want this reflected on the map, I have this little filter map view by content, makes all the other points go away. We can in the filter, we can add a second field if we wanted to, we could have multiple filters. And so let's say I wanted to go by uh, my state column, I can just go down to uh, state and make that equal to one of the values. So I'll just do Ohio, click filter. Now I only have four. And if I press either refresh or uncheck and recheck, then I show just my house accounts in Ohio. Let's say I wanted to export this information. I have my export button at the end and then I'll uh, send it back out as a CSV file. I'll go ahead and remove those filters now. And now let's go ahead and let's take a look at those dots on the map and what we call callouts. So I'm gonna just zoom in on an area. And so callouts are just kind of like text bubbles that appear on the map and you can show this information by either hovering your mouse to show it or you can click on it and there's a little plus sign here and you can expand that out. You can just keep doing that if you wanna see uh, multiple dots on the map. And if you ever wanted to change the orientation of these callouts, there's a little uh, settings gear here and so you can change the orientation if some are on top of each other. If you ever wanted to edit your callouts, say you wanted to add more fields or change them, we can do that by going to manage map and data at that data set level. And we can click on callouts and then format callouts. And this is these are the five fields that we can change. So if I decide I don't want my account owner, I can just uncheck number one. Uh, I could also, you know, go down here and just choose a different column of my spreadsheet if I wanted to. And then once I have everything the way that I want, then I'm going to click change callouts. And now uh, it's edited, it's a little tidier. And just know that you can at any point uh, change all of that call out information. If you have any questions, uh, please let us know. And thanks and have a great day.